Well, here we are. Week 14 has concluded the college football season, the regular season. It's over. It's over. Now we just have conference championship week. You know, Georgia had to survive an eight overtime scare against Georgia Tech. Haynes King Company really did their, really did their thing. Unfortunately, they ran out of gas. Syracuse did not know. Cal McCord is unreal, man. Over four thousand like nearly five thousand yards passing this year. They beat Miami. Miami's defense has been absolutely abysmal. And that loss there by Miami knocks them out of the ACC championship. Thus, in comes Clemson, who lost to South Carolina and Lenora Sellers. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough for the Tigers. But hey, they still get to play for a playoff spot. South Carolina fans, unfortunately, do not understand what head-to-head means. Yeah, yes, so, yeah, strength of schedule is higher, but again, you lost to both South, you lost to both Ole Miss and Alabama. So, like, I'm not sure what South Carolina fans are complaining about. You're, you were not going to get ahead of Ole Miss or Alabama, and uh, people just, I don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how hot of a team you are. You just, you're just not going to get ahead. It's just unfortunate. It is what it is, you know. The Big 12 was a chaotic, you know, mess in which we had like nine teams in contention for the Big 12 championship. But ultimately, at the end of the day, BYU was able to beat Houston late and Colorado beat Kansas, which were probably the more important results. But of course, there's also Iowa State outlasting Kansas State in a pretty good game, in a cold game in Farmageddon. And in Arizona State, just Camp Scadaboo is just unreal, man. That Arizona State team is cooking. They are cooking. And it will be a top 16 showdown between Iowa State and Arizona State in Dallas. It's going to be beautiful. It'll be a top uh, 20 matchup between, you know, SMU's ranked number eight. I think, yeah, number eight. And then Clemson's ranked 17th. Um, Georgia, Texas, that's the 2 5 matchup, and then the 1 4 matchup, or the 1 3 matchup, actually, you know, because Notre Dame is number four, you know. Um, so Georgia, Texas, Penn State, Oregon, Oregon was able to beat Washington pretty easily. Penn State also able to beat Maryland pretty easily. And the reason why Penn State is here in this situation is because Michigan beat Ohio State again for the fourth straight year. Crazy stuff. Tennessee, Indiana, SMU, Notre Dame, they all win. Notre Dame is in. Notre Dame is in. They will be hosting a playoff game, you know, by beating USC. They beat USC, and they will host a playoff game. Indiana beat the Briggs off of Purdue so bad that Purdue fired their coach the next day. They are in Tennessee. Tennessee beat Vanderbilt in a game that actually looked like Tennessee actually wanted to play offense. It was it was kind of close early, but you know, eventually, eventually, Tennessee was able to overcome the doors, and now, now we are at the apex of the situation now. Because Alabama was ranked in the top 12. Alabama was ranked number 11. Miami, after that loss to Syracuse, is now ranked number 12. And basically, out of the discussion for the college football playoff, despite the fact that they have 10 wins, Alabama has only nine. But again, Miami, I don't I don't really want to see Miami or Alabama in this playoff, but somebody's somebody's got to be in, you know. Do we really think that Miami's resume compares to Alabama's? Not really. You know, Alabama's resume is clearly better. Do we think that Miami's, you know, wins? You know, they have more wins than Alabama. But, again, I don't know how this is going to factor with the way the committee ranked them. So, Bama may be in. Bama may actually be in the college football playoff, surprisingly. Which is crazy to think about. Again, these bloated conferences and you know conference championship games 
really kind of having no meaning, you know, in a way, because Georgia, Texas is going to be for basically a buy. That's what it's going to be for. It's going to be either Texas gets a buy, Texas or Texas hosts a first round game in Austin or Georgia. Same thing. Beat Texas, get a first round buy or don't and host the playoff game potentially or even go on the road, you know, because, again, Georgia, again, have to survive Georgia Tech in a eight overtime game. And the offense has just not been that great, to be quite honest with you. Texas, on the other hand, that defense, you know, it's still one of the best in the country. You know, again, rem- reminder that the offense got scared against Georgia, got really, really scared to the point where it's just unfathomable. How, how, how did Texas lose that game against Georgia that first time? It's like crazy talk. But now Texas has a chance to redeem themselves. Georgia trying to prove themselves, you know, prove that they really are, you know, one of the best in the country and deserve that first round bye. It's going to be a good one, I think. You know, you know, Quinn Ewers and Carson Beck squaring off, you know, with, with the talent both these teams have, you know. This could be this could this could go either way. I think, you know, ACC championship Kevin Jennings, and that that smooth offense that that Mustangs offense, the Ponies, taking on Dabo Swingy. You know, Dabo was crying and moaning and whining and bitching. You know, hey, we need more ACC teams in. You have your opportunity here, Dabo. You have your opportunity. SMU is in a murky situation, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, well, if SMU loses this game, are they in or are they out? I don't know, bro. Um, I think they should be in, but who knows? Clemson, if they win, that they're in. They're in. You know, again, they lost to South Carolina, but because Miami lost, they're backed in, you know. You know, it's a shameful display of all this, you know, violence between teams, though. That 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 was really crazy. You know, all these teams, you know, just getting into brawls at the games, the Ohio State Michigan one being the worst of it, to be quite honest with you. Uh it's just not a good look. That's why both teams got fined a hundred K. You know, planting your flag into somebody else's field is crazy. But hey, it ain't stop Baker Mayfield from doing that, you know. But it is what it is with that. You know, those Ohio State seniors that played four years for Ohio State never beat Michigan, which is crazy. And again, Michigan wasn't even that good this year. Michigan even squandered opportunities in the red zone, which is crazy. You're, you're talking, you know, Davis Warren and Alex Orgy being the core quarterbacks for this game. You're talking Donovan Edwards, who was on the cover of College Football 25, didn't really do anything this entire season, to be quite honest with you. A wide receiver core that was non existent. You know, yeah, they have Colston Loveland, but, you know, he's a tight end. An offensive line that you know they they had some push, but they didn't have all the push. A defense that really didn't have much of a push at all, and yet Ohio State still lost. And I think Ohio State is probably going on the road. I think they're in because they beat Indiana and Penn State, but they may or may not be hosting a home playoff game. It could be them in Tennessee, to be quite honest with you. And yet yeah, Tennessee is in. Ohio State in, you know, basically we're trying to figure out, you know, maybe two spots. We're trying to figure out, you know, what in the world is is the SMU situation. Uh, maybe the Boise State situation as well. UNLV is ranked. Hodge Malik Williams is a dynamite star. Ashton Genty trying to continue to get that Heisman campaign trendy towards him. And the Heisman voting has started. You know, people are – you know, Travis Hunter, you know, he showed out, you know, in a game, you know, where he had a couple touchdowns, a pick, you know, I mean, he was, he's willing to deal in against the Kansas team that, you know, the, all that luck for Kansas, all, all that, all that glitters, all that gold, it ran out for him. And thus Kansas finished bowl ineligible, you know, bowls are starting to be announced. Army Navy is the week after this, and that's going to be fun. And I just I just don't know at this point. You know, we're really down to like maybe one to three spots. I think, you know, who's in? Oregon is in. P- 
Penn State is in, Indiana is in, Ohio State is in, Georgia is in, Texas is in, Tennessee is in, um, Notre Dame is in, SMU is potentially in, you know, the Big 12 winner, whoever comes out between Arizona State and Iowa State was in, Clemson could be in, you know, um, it's 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 a crazy crazy thing. It's a crazy world we live in. You know, could Alabama be in? I'm not entirely sure. That's what it's looking like at the moment. But hey, things will indeed change. You know, between now and next week, we've seen it happen plenty of times before. Do we get a do we get a three loss team in the college football playoff? We will find it out on the 78th, and I'll come back to you. The seventh, the tenth. I'm not, I'm not gonna go live with the playoffs and stuff like that. I'm, I'm gonna get on about it here and upload this to YouTube real quick, and then um, I'm gonna talk some volleyball. I'm gonna talk some NFL tomorrow. I'm, I know I've been procrastinating on you know the volleyball and the basketball related videos, but it's okay. It's all right. It's fine. I'm gonna get on out of here and upload this, and I'll see you. Very, very soon, everybody.